So they say the third time's the charm, right? The it's Sanger Theater. Be. It's gotta be. It has to be. And the Sanger is hoping that that's true. Tomorrow, the theater will reopen for the third time in about a decade after Katrina, the Hard Rock collapse, and then COVID. Danny Monteverdi takes us inside for a look. The marquee at the Sanger says, Welcome back. But really, it's welcome back again. The Sanger takes a licking and we keep on ticking. Letty Fleming Kleiber and her A1 Caging Cleaning Service were getting every nook and cranny of the old theater back into tip top shape on Wednesday morning ahead of a comedy show Thursday night. 18 months was a long time gone. I got the goosebumps right now. It'll be the first time the doors open to theater goers since March 2020. It's uh, exciting time. It's almost as, uh, almost as exciting as when we reopened in September of 2013 following our closure from Katrina. Things were fine until October 2019. That's when the Hard Rock collapse forced the closure of the theater again. We only had a couple months that we were open from the Hard Rock. COVID-19 brought the curtain down once more. They were throwing a lot of, at the Sanger, but guess what? We're still here, we're still standing, and come this time tomorrow night, we're gonna open the doors and have a lot of fun. David Skinner, the Sanger's general manager, says tickets for tomorrow night's show are going fast, and he expects a full house. He says that shows people want to be back in the seats and performers want to be back on the stage. Every patron coming in must wear a mask. We are going to be seated side by side, and so uh, we do have to ha have a mask on everyone. While Hard Rock related repairs are still ongoing outside in North Rampart streets closed to traffic, people can use all doors to get in. But Skinner says you should plan a little extra time since the parking garage across Rampart isn't open yet. It's a a uh, new experience from our staff, but from the public standpoint, uh, the only thing they have to do is wear their mask and we're good to go. As they say, the show must go on. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. And Skinner says he's slowly been able to bring staff back, but he's not at 100% yet, though he does hope that that will happen as soon as more shows return.